Center Station. Hey people, it is Thursday, November the 11th. The time is 12.40 in the afternoon. And the temperature is 11 degrees Celsius outside. And I'm currently on the Scarborough RT, just leaving McCowan Station. And I'm heading for Scarborough Town Center, which is the large shopping mall. In the center of the borough of Scarborough, which is right here, really. And I'll be getting off at Scarborough Center. And I'll be taking a walk around the Scarborough Town Center shopping mall, which I've never done before. We're just coming up to the mall right now. And this is one of the largest shopping malls in the city of Toronto. I've never been to the mall as I mentioned and I've never gone from the RT to the mall obviously so hopefully I'll find my way without getting lost. Line three to Kennedy. So here's a look at the very small trains here they have here on line line three. did a video riding the entire Line 3 from Kennedy to McCowan Station. So now let's see if I can find my way into the mall. Oh, here we go, bridge to Scarborough City Center. them all? <laughs> that is the question. So here we are, Scarborough City Center. I can see an entrance to the mall right down there. But how the heck do I get down there? See, this is this is why people don't like Scarborough. Maybe this is a underground passageway here. Huh, I think it is. All right. Nope, that's locked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed in the station and went out in the other direction. Well, let's do a little walking tour of Scarborough Center while we're here.
don't see any anything resembling a pedestrian friendly environment. <laughs> Let's try our luck with this staircase here. Maybe these people are coming and going from the mall. Even though we're in Toronto, this feels like a very foreign environment to me. to the mall. You can see the line three is elevated through this whole area. I think I did it. All right. Well, now we'll know for next time, if there ever is a next time. And right off the bat, we got some music welcoming us to the Scarborough Town Center. So I'll just quickly get out of this area. And welcome to the center of Scarborough. In a recent video, I was trying to remember the last time I was in this mall, and it must have been in the 90s. And I think there was only one time that I remember actually coming here. I'm not sure what the layout is in this mall. So we'll just sort of wander around and see what we find. Jollibee. It's a cool store, Mind Games. They have locations all over the city and beyond. Is this just funneling, funneling me right out of the mall, or is there a way I can get around without backtracking? It looks like I might have to backtrack. This is the Cineplex. Yeah, as I mentioned, I do not know the layout of this mall, so... Backtracking it is. This time we'll hang a right.
worth mentioning that Scarborough is the most diverse part of the city of Toronto. And the borough has, I think, about 650,000 people or so. The entire city of Toronto has about 3 million. So Scarborough does make up a significant chunk of the city. It's in the easternmost part of the city. And it's mostly a suburban area that was built up in the post-war era. Yeah, that's a pretty nice Christmas display. Is Santa there? I don't think Santa's here right now. I don't know if this is another dead end. If it is, I could probably go down to the lower level. It's not. Looks like I can keep going this way. Some malls are very simple in their layout, just basically a, a very long corridor or maybe an L shape or a U shape. Well, this one seems to be more like a series of in interconnected concourses. Sunrise Records. I notice they have stores located in malls throughout the city now. I think they're only located in malls now. Their street fronting locations have all closed down. Downtown used to have a couple on Young Street. And when I was up in North Bay recently, I noticed there was a Sunrise Records in the Northgate Mall in North Bay, which was cool to see. of the mall perhaps no uh, not really not the kind of map I'm looking for Hudson's Bay. And maybe I'll descend down to the lower level.
certainly busy enough. Most of these large regional malls in the city are quite healthy and busy. And most of them are over 1 million square feet. I believe the Scarborough Town Center is over 1 million square feet. Marble Adventure Lab. Ten bucks. I think I'll pass. Like most multi-level malls, the lower levels tend to have stores that are a little less luxurious. Although it's not always the case. We have a couple of fancy looking stores right here. But for the most part, the upscale fashion retailers tend to be located on the upper levels. We do have a Tommy Hilfiger down here on the lower level though. And Calvin Klein, so hey, what do I know? I'm just going by the Eaton Center. That's my frame of reference. <laughs> Here's Santa's Playland here. I don't know if we can get a better look behind the curtain. I guess Santa isn't ready yet. I guess maybe he has not begun his his stay here in the Scarborough Town Center Mall. Maybe it doesn't begin until after Remembrance Day has ended. And here we are right here, Santa's arrival, November 13th. So just a couple more days. Yeah, I think I found the food court. This is a pretty good sized food court here. And of course, if you want to sit down and eat, you do have to show proof of vaccination. We are checking that. Yeah, 
and I haven't eaten yet today. And I was fine until all of a sudden I had all these food smells hit me. <laughs> now I'm suddenly feeling hungry. Did a full circuit of the food court. So maybe I will ascend back up to the upper level. I could see this skylight from the Scarborough RT as I was pulling into the station. I haven't seen an Apple store though. Maybe this mall doesn't have one. Seems like a bit of an oversight, if that's the case. This huge area of the city with hundreds of thousands of people and they don't have an Apple store to serve them. Scarborough Walk of Fame down there. Let's see if I can recognize any of these names. I see Mike Holmes, I know that name. I think The Weekend is down there, he's from Scarborough, as well as members of the Bare Naked Ladies. And Mike Myers, the famous Mike Myers, is also a Scarborough guy. And there have been many others, of course. Back in this familiar spot again. I think we've pretty much covered most of them all. So I'll try to make my way back to where I came in. And get back on the Scarborough RT and head back downtown. I'll have to transfer at Kennedy Station onto the Line 2 subway. When I was coming up here, there was an announcement on the train that 
Line 2 was closed between St. George Station and Woodbine Station due to some situation or other. So hopefully that will be cleared up by the time I have to use that portion of Line 2 to get back downtown. I hope you enjoyed this sort of wandering walk around the Scarborough Town Center. I wasn't exactly sure of the mall layout or if I was going the right way or but I think we managed to make it through most of the mall. And of course we started out with a bit of a wander around Scarborough Center itself trying to get into the mall. So I'm glad I was able to do that. So leave a comment below and like and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my merch store. And you can also find me on Instagram under KContinuum. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue.